So hi, Tony. Hey there, uh, Tony from Make Noise here. Gonna tell you about the Morphogene. Uh, the Morphogene is our new tape and microsound music module. It's uh, creating new sounds from old ones using reels, splices, and genes. Uh, the Morphogene can capture, regenerate, and process sounds from inside or outside of your modular system. Uh, it's a stereo I.O. with an uh, intuitive auto-leveling um, that allows you to patch a line level signal in or your super hot modular uh, level signals in without distortion. Um, it has an SD card that can hold several reels. Each reel can be up to 87 seconds long and it can contain up to 99 splices. Splices can be as long as 87 seconds or as short as a few microseconds. Uh, genes can get down into the sub micro uh, second range uh, for granular processing. It, uh, there's full voltage control over every aspect of the module and what you just heard was some time lag accumulation that we patched. Uh, we got another patch we'd like to show you that um, will exhibit how you can load sounds from an external source, uh, an SD card in this case. So, um, is, so is this a, um, a, uh, a development of the Phonogy? Like uh, yeah, sure, you can say that. Okay. So, um, and it, it, it's uh, done in uh, collaboration with... Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. This is another sound hack collaboration. Uh, we worked with Tom Herb for the last year and several weeks to get it to this point. We're currently manufacturing them and we're hoping to be shipping them in uh, March. And uh, what will be the uh, retail price? Five twenty-nine. So hey Walker. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, you're going to show us some more about the uh, Morphogene, right? Yes, uh, I'll give you a little kind of rundown of how it actually works so you can get your head around it a little more. Um, I've loaded up a, uh, a recording of Pauline Oliveros talking about some of her processes here. Uh, I loaded it up using the SD card reader and I've got uh, Splice playing that has her kind of doing a little speech. Um, we can control the very speed speed it up, up to an octave above, two and a half octaves down. We can also go uh, backwards. Uh, we can go ahead and start adding some more splices in here. Processing. We can zoom in on any splice that we're on using the gene size control and then move around through it. Using the morph control, we can actually uh, have the splices or the genes not overlap each other or start to overlap more and more as we turn it up. Uh, there's also quite a bit of I.O. on this for uh, voltage control of various things. We can use the uh, CV output to control the volume of something else in the patch. Uh, we can use the end of splice output to clock something in the patch, for example, uh, something that would let us actually change the slide uh, organize and splices that are chosen. We start to uh, sequence other things as well and do some further modulations. Yeah. 
And of course it fits uh, nicely into the rest of the system if you want to go ahead and do some kind of like external sequence and then match this along with it. Uh, we've added a new firmware to the Tempe that lets me tap in a tempo that I want. Uh, so if I go ahead and... Yeah, so that gives you kind of an idea what the various controls do and what some of it sounds like. Excellent. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.